And, you know, when I saw that, I said, I mean, that cannot be what I'm aspiring but for. I have to say that that perhaps was a bad example of what actually Bollywood is about, right? You but went to some set called Veer Hanuman, like, in Hyderabad? Exactly. Hyderabad. But, you know what? The one thing I believe in is fate. Trust me, if something as drastic as that hadn't happened, who knows? I might have said, you know, let me work my way up. I'll put in two or three years as an AD and then try and... But when it was something as drastic as that... Okay, so cut to, like a year later, you have Hyderabad Blues. And it's actually the distribution of Hyderabad Blues and the whole story that spun around it. You sell your laptop to get the print out. <laughs> and there's like thousand tickets given free before... Yep, yep. Um, it was actually one print going from city to city, or yes. that was at least the rumor that was around. Well, it wasn't city to city, but uh, there was only one print that was struck. That was the print that we had, um, which I did with my own money. But the, the whole thing of doing this mom and pop shop thing was Mr. Sham Shops and uh, Elahe's idea. Can you talk about Elahe, who's been your producer from day one? Uh, after Hyderabad Blues. Oh, Hyderabad she Blues wasn't was, in... Hyderabad uh, Blues was produced by me. So wh what was your connection with her then? Well, I had gone... I lined up in Hyderabad. I want to make a film. I don't know anyone. So I ask around. I'm like, can I... Where do I find actors? So they say, go to the drama circle Hyderabad. So I go there and I say, who, who do I talk to? And this man says, you know, there's a girl who's fairly active. That's Elahe. Talk to her. So... Oh, you only met her then? I thought you were like childhood friends. I went to her just merely for production help. So I cast her as Seema. So she literally comes on to the film five days before I start filming. But when she's sitting and talking with the other actors, we're doing a group reading. I said, you know what? I'm shooting this film without an AD. How naive could I be? So I asked her, I said, do you want to be my AD? She had no clue, so she said, yeah. So she comes aboard as AD, but of course then she does things way more than an AD does. You know, slipping into uh, uh, producing duties and she's getting people and all that. Are you friends? Are you romantically involved? What is going, what is the equation? Friends. 